or people who are in the America, uh, even if you have kids that are grown, you don't think it's going to impact you. I going to impact your kids, your grandchildren, uh, children, grandchildren's children. So, uh, and also in the areas of uh, public contracting and employment, it will impact even a lot more people. So don't think that you are safe, you know, no one is safe here. And uh, I, I, have, I have received several comments from people from different areas, for instance, like people from Taiwan, they think they are safe in this regard, and I, you know, I, I just don't think so, because everything is proportionate, okay? We, the Asian uh, as a whole group, we only account for 15% of the total population in California. So the makeup of the Asian population is, uh, you know, is comprised of people from Taiwan, Singapore, China, Hong Kong, um, wherever, maybe Italy, India, India. So everybody is going to be reduced proportionately. So we all will be affected. So don't think that they don't think because you're from a specific area, you may be safe. No one is safe here. So uh, let's work together. And Bob and I, you know, stay our position again. Okay, we understand there are many hacks. Uh, associations and groups uh, are out there already, and they are doing their the local fights or maybe statewide fights. Uh, but I think you know we can work together. Okay, we're not fighting anyone. We are trying to do something to help the whole community, not just for California. It, it is really a national fight. So let's work together, and uh, hopefully, if, I mean, if you if you trust us, because because Bob and I have a track record of helping the Chinese and Asian and the Asian community for the longest time. You know, we each have donated over thirty years each to helping our community. So if you trust us and trust our experiences, that we will not you know, do you wrong. Is that a right statement? <laughs> okay. Uh, we are standing up for everyone, just like you know when Bob was in the legislature. The real apology to 1882 uh, Chinese Fusion Act actually comes from Senator Bob Huff. That was passed in June of 2016. That is the only real apology that was issued from the state of California. At the federal level, there is no formal apology. The only thing we have right now is a statement of regrets. So if you look at the apologies that other ethnic groups receive, they will actual apologies. But when it comes to the most government-sponsored, comprehensive oppression on any ethnic group, and that is Chinese, the 1882 uh, Chinese Act was the most prevalent government-sponsored discrimination. Is that the right description? Okay. We have never received a real apology until Senator Huff worked on that, and that came in in June of 2016. Okay. So if you look at it, Every important issue, for instance, um, after school education, you know, that problem was in existence before Senator Huff at the time was the assembly member Huff. He took office in 2000, uh, 2004. That, that problem was in existence for 20, 30 years. No one legislator, Chinese, Asian, or otherwise, no legislator wanted to take on that responsibility because it was not an easy task. So Senator Huff's office, actually Assembly Member Huff, took four years in Assembly and then one year in Senate. After five years work, you know, we finally was able to change change that to allow the Chinese or any athletic uh, after school program to be legally uh, operating in the state of California. It was actually written into the education code. So things like that, if you go back to the history, because you know a lot of things took place before we had WeChat. So you know the only information we see was the newspaper articles. If you happen to read the articles, you know what happened, but if you missed it, you just don't know because you know there is no online library that you can go check, for instance. So if you look at the history of what Senator Huff has done for, for Chinese Americans and for the Asian Americans and for other ethnic groups, because when Bob was the Senate leader, Senate leader, he uh, he has two sets two sets of steps. Okay? One set is the on public policy side. The other side is the political side. Bob hired a Hispanic uh, uh, staffer who was in charge of the communication department. So Bob appeared on Telemundo, Univision, for instance, um, 
probably more so than any other leaders uh, on the Republican side. And Bob paid personal visits to African American owned newspapers. Um, he will pay pay them personal visits. So it's not just an outreach into the Chinese, into all age, different Asians, which we have very good relationship with. Bob has also reached out to other ethnic groups. Okay, personally visit with them and talk to them, which was not in practice for a long time. So our outreach is comprehensive. We focus on the Chinese American. To be very honest with you, is because of this. Okay, if we don't take care of ourselves, no one has the responsibility to take to take care of the Chinese or the Asian Amer Americans. We have to put, put up a strong fight, whether it's in terms of donation or in terms of volunteering, making phone calls, walking precincts. Walking precincts may be out of question. And I remember one of the questions that so Sophia posed was, "Are we going to have protests? Protests? I think it's going to be very difficult because people." Don't dare to go out of your comfort zone and to be in public right now. So you can see that we observe the six feet uh, uh, social distancing here, but even then, many people still have concerns that they don't want to be here in person. So we can understand that. So really, you know, it's going to be depending on the uh, the, the traditional media, the social media, by word of mouth, by you know, our uh, WeChat group, line groups, or whatever groups we may have that we personally have that responsibility to know the issue and then to educate your friends and your family members because no one else is going to do it for us. We have to do it for ourselves. We don't show that we make 110% effort. No one is, or, or not enough people will come in to help us because in many people's mind, okay, Asians, especially Chinese, we are very capable people. You know, we study hard, we have good, good, score, good scores in school, and we make a lot of money, and we make decent money, whatever people may have a perception of us, okay? So a lot of times I often say that Chinese Americans, even though we may be a minority group, and we are a minority group, but we are not rural society. We are strong individually or, or collectively. The only thing is collectively in the area of public policies in participating in politics, we are way behind a lot of other groups. So this is the time to show that we are united. We have a message to share with our families, our friends, our groups, our co-workers, or whoever, okay? Get out of our comfort zone and try to reach out to as many people as you can to get the message across that this is really the most important fight that people, the, the Chinese Americans, Asian Americans, other ethnic Americans that are here in the U.S. trying to get ahead in our lives. Please get out of your comfort zone. Get out of, out of our comfort zone. Let's work together in doing this fight together. Is that okay? Okay. Let me check, double check again and see if there is anyone who have. Yeah, raise your hands. If not, I'll wrap it up. Okay. I don't have anyone else. Um, Okay, now 